Ah, high school health class. The place where you awkwardly sit in a room with both genders of teenagers looking through cropped photos like these of rashes on the genitals. Whether that has any actual impact on educational value is a topic for another video, but today we'll be covering the basics of some of the most common sexually transmitted infections. I'm Dr. Adam Goodkoff, and welcome to Your Health Explained. STDs, or as they are now called, STIs, or sexually transmitted infections, are an important topic in medicine. In the United States alone, there are over 2 million infections each year. These conditions can lead to scarring of the reproductive organs and decreased fertility in the future. So what STI is most commonly seen? The most common STI is actually a virus known as human papillomavirus, or HPV for short. HPV is transmitted by sexual contact among partners. The virus is tricky because there are different subtypes. While some can actually cause ugly looking warts known as condyloma acuminatum, some other subtypes can lead to cervical cancer in women or throat cancer in both sexes. While there is no treatment or antibiotic for HPV, there is prevention. In fact, HPV-induced cervical cancer is the first and only cancer that can be prevented with a vaccine. Gardasil, as you may have heard the brand name, protects against nine strains of HPV, which can cause warts and cancer. Okay, well, this video is an overview, so for now, let's move on to the next most common condition, known as trichomoniasis. This parasitic infection causes a foul-smelling discharge, intense vaginal itching and burning, and it actually gets worse. In women, the symptoms are obvious, but what's tricky is that in men, there are often no symptoms. This means the infection can spread like wildfire. Treatment here is by way of antibiotics that essentially target and kill the parasite. Moving right down the list, we have chlamydia and gonorrhea. I link them together because they're often found co-infected in patients, meaning that when you find one, there is often an infection with the other. They both present with forms of discharge for both sexes and can both be treated with antibiotics. So next time you think about getting intimate with a new partner, be sure to protect yourself and protect your partner. If you learned something in today's video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to have your health explained.